MovieWeb.com. Okay, now I want to know, when Bob Goodwin came to you and he said he had this lost film that starred your great-grandfather, did you know this movie <laughs> actually existed? I mean, was this something your grandfather had ever talked about? He hadn't, uh, because he was a general practitioner. He was a doctor. So it was a mystery to me to find out that he was actually an actor. Well, that's weird. Was he a practitioner, and then, like, because of the controversy surrounding this movie at the time it was made, he kind of was pushed into another direction? I think, you know, at the time, uh, you know, I think it, uh, in my family it was not considered a, a, a good to be an actor. It was looked down upon, and I think he just kept it a secret. He hid behind his doctorness, but secretly snuck down to do films. Now, who was related to you that is in the film? Is this your aunt? Yes, your it, was my, it was my, it was my great, great aunt. aunt because I'm very young. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to laugh that hard. I didn't. No, of course not. Uh, yeah, and, you know, and she was American and I'm obviously not, so. No, she was exported out of the country after the film was made. That's what these guys were telling me next door. Mm-hmm. Well, they've got their facts slightly wrong. Oh, well, can you tell me what happened? Well, you know, um, she's, she, she was born and raised in America and the rest of my family was born and raised in Australia. So I've come over she to was help. The she was, oh. and I've come over to help promote her former work. Yeah. Which well, sounds like a conspiracy a little bit, because I know there's people that look a little bit like paparazzi outside, but I've heard they're with the government, and they're a little afraid of this movie because it kind of eases aliens into the culture a little too easily. I think that I don't think this film was lost so much as buried, because they've been afraid of it for fifty years, afraid of what it represents. What is a scary movie? <laughs> It's scary. It's, I think it's scary because it's, it suggests that, that there, can be, um, there can be love and peace between warring mm-hmm. factions, that we don't need to be as scared as we are. That's what scared them mm-hmm. and audiences were ready to accept that. Now, can you talk about the work you had to come and do as far as like the ADR work you guys did and how you had to kind of like rework the acting styles that your like, relatives had done? Because it's a very different acting style. Yes. And you guys sort of worked in creating, recreating that style. Yes. Um, you want to talk about that? Very theatrical style. Um, you know, I mean, uh, actors in that day were very, were stage trained, and so when they came and did a movie, they didn't adjust their performance in terms of how they threw their performance out and the energy they used. You know, when you're on the stage, you have to throw a, a, re- a net really wide, and I guess they still did that, but they still had the truth to their performance, which is what I appreciated. And what about you? Did did you find that you had to kind of change your entire style as far as how you delivered? I'm uh, I'm naturally very very wooden and shallow as yeah. an actor, so I, I found that it just lent itself directly. It actually, was very very easy. And that came from a lot of what you saw your grandfather doing around the house when you were a kid. Is that right? Exactly. And I I didn't realize that he was an actor. I actually didn't even know that he was a doctor. So I kept wondering. What's with the stethoscope? Is yeah. that just an, you know an affectation? Yeah, could have been. Well, you know, like the paper hat. Now, what do you hope audiences today take away from this movie? Because it is slightly different. It's almost a little bit goofy to our standards. But back in the day, I mean, it was considered real hardcore science fiction. Yeah. It's less about what they take away and more about what they leave. We want them to leave eleven dollars each. And that would be the. Advantage. That would be what we're hoping. Right. What they should take away, I think, is a sense that that uh, there was a time when when. Um, Movies were less cynical, and and that uh, that the while they might have been uh, fear might have been the motivation behind them. Ultimately, it was about entertainment and about um, and magic about and spreading, wonder. Yes, yeah, spreading wonder and magic, and wonder and magic and magic. Thank you. out there.